Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a, a bit of a juicy topic, a bit of a, of a of a ploy per se that NARS put up. So recently a faction, well, let's put it simply, an island that already existed in the game has become its own individual faction. To some, this update seems to be large. I don't know why, because the update really is just adding a playable faction. It honestly, it adds nothing to the mechanics of the game, it doesn't make the game any funner, it's just an island that is made specifically for people who are above level 10. I really, yeah, I know, it's it doesn't make sense at all, and I, I'm in the same boat as the rest of the people here. What the fuck is going on? What? What's the big deal? Anyway, so this island has been released, it's finally host, host, hosted its f first political run. Uh, and you know, trade lands, when it comes to politics, everything is fucking rigged. Unlike in real life, am I right? Haha. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to tell you guys what you already know, and if you don't know it, I'll link a video down in the description that basically explains what the uh, update was. I don't think the explanation really went into depth about how the game is actually lacking in actual content, rather than Nari's focusing on lore events, which is cool to have an in-depth lore to your game, but he seems to be ignoring game mechanics and the actual things that make your game playable. So, you know, if your game's not playable, it's not going to be very fun. If it's not very fun, then who gives a shit about the lore? <laughs> But anyways, that being said, Treylands has received quite a few updates recently. In fact, this summer, I think it's released, received more updates than it has in the last year or so. But that being said, I don't think all the updates were good. I think the first couple updates, and when I say think, I do believe the first couple updates were decent. You know, the Treylands license has changed the graphics, they 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 changed who really doesn't care for the community and only cares for himself. The uh, his, his lazy attempts to make the game better is to try to make the lore more in-depth, and that's just pathetic. When the game requires so much more maintenance and an actual development team to continuously keep the game up and steady, I don't think I just think it's a it's a it's a lost cause at this point. You know, I don't think it's the end of Trade Lands. I think there's a possibility that you could again save Trade Lands. But that being the case, I think you're too stupid to know how to let Trade Lands develop into a proper, sophisticated game. That being said, yeah, no, fuck Trade Lands. Uh. Oh. Uh. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, that's loud. Um, so on the other hand, NASA had a flay competition. Let's let's see how that went. Uh, oh god. Uh, <coughs> my, my apologies, I didn't want to see that. Or or make you see that. <coughs> Point being is uh Tan's made a better flake. You should use it in art. It would be so much better than what you're currently using. Here's uh here's the image right now on screen. Just just cl just click click uh use Giazzo and and screen capture that shit. Uh yeah, that's a better flag. Use this flag instead. Okay, thank you. But then again, like I said, no no hate to the original creator of the original flags. You know, I know they swapped the flag again recently, and it's worse. Well, maybe it's better because they removed the lighthouse. I don't know, but trust me, this flag is just way better. Just please.